Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video, I would like to explain the method of solving the extension angle and uh, boundary points using numerical methods. So there are uh, two types of problem that we would like to solve, which, which is called the extension angle and boundary points. So extension angle and boundary points are fundamental problems um, that often arise in AC to DC power converter or more commonly known as the rectifier and uh, the extension angle and boundary point occurs in power converter due to the, the presence of energy storage elements namely the inductor and capacitor all right before we um, go into detail let us briefly um, have a look on the a few methods that can be utilized to solve the extension angle and boundary points so we call the extension angle and boundary points generally as the roots the roots in an equation so to find the roots there are basically two major types the first is called the analytic solution um, let me choose other color so the first is called the analytic solution in which uh, for example we have equation like x square um, plus uh, 5x plus 6 equals to 0 so to find these roots we can factorize this equation to get x plus 2 times x plus 3 so the roots are x equals to negative 2 and negative 3 so this is called the analytic solution in which the roots are derived by hand so the second method is called the numerical methods in which we are going to utilize in this uh, regard so numerical method for root finding consists of two major types the first is called the bracketing methods in which um, uh, we require the information of a bracket before we proceed with the uh, root solving the second numerical method is called the open methods in which we are not there is a no need to uh, to have a bracket but instead we need to find any initial points in which we call as initial gas around that roots so first again first bracketing methods that require a, a range between two points and secondly open methods that require an initial gas close to the roots so um, a couple of uh, methods categorized under bracketing methods is first by section and second false position and etc in for open methods the most popular perhaps the newton Raphson and also second methods and and also other methods as well okay so let's uh, go more detail on um, what is mean by the uh, extension angle and the um, boundary points but before that we have two types of problem that related to root finding in which the first is um, like this in the graph of your left hand side fx is a function so the curve of fx intersects the, the, hor the horizontal axis so we call that the point of intersection as the roots so in the um, power electronics applications we call the, the points when the value of function equals to zero that points is referred to the extension angle okay on your right hand side 
there is another case of root finding in which there are two functions, namely f1 and f2. So the curve of f1 and f2 intersects each other at a point xr. So we call xr as a root as well. So um, the, the most principal way or the standard way to express the equation for root finding is we can write for the graph on your left hand side fx equals to zero. So xr can be solved when we equate the function fx equals to zero. So this equation refers to the roots xr. For uh, the second equation, the second case on your right hand side, we don't have directly fx equals to zero. By the way, we can write f1x equals to f2x. So uh, when f1 equals to f2, that refers to these intersection points. So that when xr occurs. So to write this in a regular form, we transfer the right hand side to the left hand side. So we get f1 minus f2 equals to 0. So if we rename the left hand side as fx, so we get a similar form of equation like the first case. Okay, so generally speaking, the idea is in, uh, in order to solve a root, we have to find this type of equation, a function equals to zero. So we call this as a regular form uh, of the uh, root finding problem. All right, let's move into detail on the practical problems that, that we encounter in uh, AC to DC power converter, or most commonly called the re rectifiers. So this is a most basic rectifiers, which is called the half wave rectifier. As you can see here, we have a single diode in the circuit. Okay, so during the uh, positive cycle of the uh, sine wave of the voltage source, um, so the diode is forward bias. So that uh, implies a current flow inside this loop. So as can be seen here in the, in the uh, sketch, the current increase until it achieves its maximum. And then when uh, Vs uh, decrease, the current also decrease. During this uh, very, during this very moment, pi, uh, the voltage source switch to the, um, what you call the negative cycle the negative cycle. So, by the way, due to the presence of the inductor, so the, the inductor stores some energy in which it can still provide a current in the loop. So the current reduce and then reach at zero. Um, what, what do you call that? At the extinction angle, in which the extinction angle is located slightly more than pi. Okay, so that is the first problem that we can, uh, the first example in uh, a power electronics converter that we call the, the phenomena of extinction angle. So our job is to find this value, the value for beta. So beta is the extinction angle. Okay. Um, so our interest is we would like to find the expression for current because current often be used to uh, compute the power. 
So this curve has this equation. So I equals to Vm over Z times the expression in the square brackets. So in here we have a few concerns, which is Z and theta and also tau. So all of them are constants. So um, our aim is to find the extinction angle, beta, in which uh, we have to write, like we have seen just now, the regular form. So I beta equals to zero. So now the problem is to find the beta, in which beta is the root, or more specifically the extinction angle. So um, we can substitute. So we substitute omega t equals to beta. So Vm over Z sine beta minus theta plus sine theta exponent negative beta over omega tau equals to zero. Okay, by substituting a beta in, into this equation and equate to zero, we get this expression. So before we go into uh, any further, uh, notice that this constant can be cancelled out because this equation equals to zero. So by cancelling this term, so what left is inside the square brackets, in which finally we have, um, let me copy this, this expression equals to zero. So we can call this expression as f beta equals to zero. So our aim is to solve beta according to the function f beta. Okay, let's move to the second um, example in which we are still uh, dealing with half wave rectifier, but this time the circuit consists of um, a capacitor filter, as can be seen here. Okay, um, this problem is slightly different with the previous because um, uh, we are more interested to find the voltage across the resistor instead of the current. So during the positive cycle, um, okay, let me choose the other color, maybe purple. During the positive cycle, uh, the, the diode is forward bias and then um, the capacitor is energized. So uh, when the voltage source reduced at some point, which is called theta, the value of the voltage across capacitor is more than the amplitude, the magnitude of voltage across uh, supplied by the voltage source. So at this point, which is theta, uh, the diode is reverse bias, or the diode is off. So during this stage, I repeat, the diode is on, but at theta, the diode is off because the voltage of the capacitor is slightly higher than the, the magnitude of voltage supplied by the voltage source. So when the diode is off, the capacitor become like the uh, temporary um, voltage supply. So it supply uh, the energy to the resistor. So that when this curve occurs, and then it meets again at this point, so this, is, this point is called the boundary points.
In the previous points, sorry, in the previous example, beta is called the astinction angle. But in this particular problem, this point is called the boundary point, which is known as uh, which uh, which related to the quantity alpha. Okay, so um, we we can show that the equation for the output voltage is equals to V M sine omega t when the diode is on. That relates to this part and also this part. And V O equals to V theta. So V theta is the amplitude slightly lower than Vm that can be seen here. Exponents power negative omega t minus theta over omega rc. So in other words, we can, I can write um, this equation describe this curve. V theta exponent negative omega t minus theta over omega rc. And this equation refers to this part, this and also this part. So um, let me clear this. Sorry. Um, so this part has the equation Vm sine omega t. So recall that this case is very similar to the to this example. Two graphs intersect at one point. So if we expand my apologies, so if we extend this a little bit and also this curve a little bit, so we get this um, intersection point. So in other words, I can write um, the intersection points occurs when Vm sine omega t equals to V theta exponent negative omega t minus theta over omega rc. So um, since here is 2 pi, and the value between the value from this point to that point is alpha so this point is 2 pi plus alpha so by substituting omega t equals to 2 pi plus alpha we can rewrite the above equation as vm sine 2 pi plus alpha equals to v theta exponent negative 2 pi plus alpha minus theta divided by omega rc. Okay, in fact, this equation can be um, further simplified because uh, as we know, sine 2 pi plus alpha is always equal to sine alpha. And we have Vm sine alpha equals to um, v theta exponent negative 2 pi plus alpha minus theta divided by omega rc. Okay, to get the regular form, like the previous example, um, f beta equals to 0, we need to transfer the right-hand side of the equation to the left-hand side, such that we have vm sine alpha minus v theta exponent negative 2 pi plus alpha minus theta divided by omega rc equals to 0. So if we call this as f alpha, so we get the regular form f alpha equals to 0.